Welcome to my workshop. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make capes. To start off, I'm taking a measuring tape and I'm measuring from my shoulder down to the ground. That is going to be the length of our fabric that we are going to use. For this measurement, because it comes up to our neck, we are going to add a little bit more inches to it, to the fabric, so we can account for the length in the back. I am using a charcoal satin. I am adding three more inches to my length that I was wanting, and I am just measuring it out twice. Now that I've had that measured out, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to double it up without cutting. So here we have the, our little thing folded over, and then we have our end, which is just doubled up right here. And we're not cutting anything quite yet. With that doubled up, it is now time to cut. Now that we have that cut, we are going to take our panels where they split off, and we're going to take the two inside ones, and this is what we're going to sew together and we're going to work our way down to the very bottom so that it's all lined up. Now that I have this edge completely sewn, I'm going ahead and cutting the top. So I folded it into fourths and now I'm just cutting a, a half an inch off. Now that we have this huge long piece cut out, we are going to knife pleat from the very center of where our seam was at until it's about to 10 to 11 inches for which our neck will go around. Once that's done, it should roughly look like this. And it comes around nicely. At this point, it's really okay just to take your time with the machine. For the hood of the cloak, I am just taking my marker and I'm marking. This will be the front of the hood and I'm just marking a half circle. For this next part, I am making some bias tape. And what I'm doing is I am just putting some fabric and laying it out and I'm cutting it at the 45 degree angle right here. Folding it in half, again, right here. And then I'm gonna do one long cut. And I want it to be, because I'm going to be folding them both in half and then ironing it, I want to have it come to about two and a half inches. Now what I'm doing is I'm folding the material in half and then ironing it. I have my crease in the center and I'm folding them in half again in the middle on both sides and then sandwiching and ironing over. I've unfolded the bias tape and I've pinned it to the hood and I'm just going to follow the line that I ironed down. Once that's done, it's time to fold over the bias tape and hand stitch it down. Now I'm attaching the hook and eye.
now it's done and it looks pretty awesome I love it super easy super fun and it looks good if you want to get this item you will be able to purchase this on Etsy I will have a link in the description below please like comment and subscribe and stay tuned every Monday and Friday thank you so much see you guys later